Abby gave me this solo because you're someone special. Not just to us, but I feel like to a lot of people. So show us that in the stands. You've won nationals, you know what to do. How many solos have you had at nationals? Several, right? And you've won. You didn't dance last year. Make up for it this year. Go. Maddie couldn't do a solo last year at nationals because she was working with Sia. Maddie's the most famous 12-year-old in the country right now. And it's really important for her to win. Saw you in the newspaper. You were in the police blotter. If can you go this way? You can look back on that. Even though Abby's not there, Maddie's always focused, so she just has to be Maddie. I mean, that's all she has to do. Thank you. Hello? Hi, Holly. It's Jeanette. How are you? I'm fine, Jeanette. What are you up to? Well, I just wanted to give you a call real quick and okay. see how you guys are doing. Yeah, we're all just enjoying a beautiful, sunny afternoon. Who has the solo this week on your team? We're safe, I have Yeah, before. I guess we'll see what happens at Nationals. Bye. Bye. Talk to you later, Jeanette. I swear to God, I still think Jeanette is trying to prove to Abby that Ava should be on this team. I swear. Oh, no. I agree. I will say it. I think she's going to give Maddie a run for her money. I think that she could beat Maddie. Absolutely. I think she can. We'll just have to see. Absolutely not. Ava has not beaten Maddie one time this year. Gia well, is amazing, but to do two solos one day. in one day and perfect them ready, national ready, I don't care how good you are. Yep. I don't care what the moms say. Ava doesn't compare to Maddie at all. Maddie is given a solo this week, gets in the junior division, and she's going to be competing head to head against Ava. And I don't think we have anything to worry about. Mackenzie beat Ava, just saying. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, only an idiot would open a door when they heard music playing. Well, I didn't hear music or else I wouldn't open the door. So. We just got to get moving. Thanks. OK, well, we're going to go ahead and walk to the stage. All right. Ava wanted to say good luck to the girls. What's good? We got it. Yes. I think Jeanette is a fool. I think she's trying to intimidate, but she is pretty pathetic. Maddie has gone against her and won every time. So just accept it and move on. All right, so this is it. This is Nationals. And Maddie, you are the it girl. The it girl can't go on stage and be any less than it. I don't want to get embarrassed and not win. I've now reached this certain level. I want to stay a winner. The pressure is on. We need to prove that we are winners. I'm opening in LA, and if these girls choke, I'm not going to make it. Next, please welcome number 28, the myth of the mermaid. I used to get flustered by Abby, and now I'm not. I'm just going to go out there and show her what she's missing. <laughs>
Next up, please welcome someone special. This is Maddie's year. She's already a star. It's only gonna last for so long. She has to strike while the iron is hot. Maddie was beautiful. She looked like something special. Now into our class division junior solo category in fifth place. Bloodstream, Jordan. There's a kid that just won one division, level wise. How can she be in two different levels? What is going on? There's definitely an error. Hold on. So if I could get. Just bring your trophy right back up here real there quick. There we go. Just bring it right back here. Your tuxedo is fabulous, but you got you to gotta figure out what you're doing. All right. Second place. Someone special, Maddie. Second. How is she second? And in first place, the myth of the mermaid, Ava. What what is this? It's a joke. Guess what? The judges hear her. Like, that's disrespectful to them. They had given out the overall high scores, then they took them back, then they were giving them out again. Nothing else the man said could be taken seriously. So there's going to be a microphone on a stand, an old-fashioned radio mic. And you're going to be in front of it doing all the stuff. And you two are on her either side, and you'll switch back and forth. So flip it's on. Got it? Yes? OK. So let's hear it. Learn the lyrics, because you're going to be lip syncing it. This week, the trio is a jazz number. It's a take on the 1940s radio hour. This is a huge opportunity for Brooke. If she wants to be a singer, She's going to learn how to work a mic. The, rest, the, the beat's like on the back seat, like it's on the back part. So wait, let me ask this question. If, if Lucas was number 11, Chloe was number 12, and Kendall was number 13 in the program book, uh -huh. how did Chloe go on after Kendall? I don't know, Jill. Watching this trio makes me think that should be Kendall in there, not Chloe. Chloe had an unfair advantage, and I think Kendall deserves to be in that trio. I, I mean, you know, Abby flips out when the kids go out of order. There's a backstage yeah, manager who tells them, this is your number, this is your number. Yep. So I don't know how Chloe ended up going. She had no idea. She just said, am I last? Can I be last? It's not fair, and you would be pissed if it were the other way around, and you know it. You say that, like, everybody, like, no, no, all these I'm special little things. They do. Okay. They do. You know, no, turn no, it around no, and no, make no. it my fault that you if asked you for recall, special treatment if you for your daughter. Recall, I didn't ask. You my were right asked. there when she asked. You should say, Chloe, go when you're supposed to. Okay. Abby will be mad. You didn't I tell didn't me. I didn't hide 
Okay, you just I didn't, didn't tell, tell me. You. Okay, okay, just own it. That's all I want okay, you to do. Okay, I hit it because nothing is more important to me than winning a dance competition. We know that now. No, that's you. I follow the rules. Okay. She's supposed to go when her time but is. We know here nobody follows the rules. Obviously. Where is that trio? Oh, oh, here's our microphone. Oh, 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 my God, I want to get on that. That's thing. a, oh, my God, Jill wants we to get on that. We know you do, Jill. Did I say that out loud? Yes. yes. Between six ears in here, we don't have one that can really hear the music correctly. Come on, girls. Say it, Brooke. It's one thing to sing, and it's one thing to dance. But it's a whole other thing to sing and dance on stage at the same time. If Brooke wants to be a pop star, she needs my help. Let's face it, she needs everybody's help. Breathe, breathe, breathe! You can hear it. You can hear that in there. I find it hysterical. Abby feels that desperate that she has to have something to do with Brooke's music career, <laughs> that she has to teach her to how sync. to lip sync, that she is revolving the trio around. Brooke might not perform the way Abby wants her to, but that's the reason why I don't have Abby being Brooke's manager, because this is something that Brooke and I want to do the way we want to do it, not the way Abby wants to do it. What if Abby brings on two really good, talented dancers that are just as good as Maddie and Mackenzie, or even better? What if that happens? I don't know. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. We're all worried about being replaced, except for Melissa, because you're like, oh, my kids are. But I think that you have the most to be worried about. Someone, so you're always about somebody being better. Holly, you're Absolutely. worried about being replaced. Oh, sure. Absolutely, Melissa. I think Absolutely. at any given day. There's nothing for Melissa to worry about. Her children will not be replaced ever, but my Kendall is replaceable in Abby's mind. Kendall's always under the gun. She never gets enough time. You know, we had the wig, we had the costume issues. The wig, Whoa. I think and, the wig then, and then the gun. Chloe and Christy went backstage and switched I did her not quarters. go backstage. Don't blame the 12 year old, but Jill. I'm not going to blame anybody, Christy. It was sneaky, and you know it. Okay, Jill. You're the one to talk about being sneaky. Okay, tell me what I've done that's okay. sneaky. I don't know. Holly, how I about told you she was going to turn this. Okay. All right, so that was sneaky. That was All right. sneaky. Okay. All right. Abba, yeah. Holly, was that sneaky? Well, We're well, going well, behind my back. Did you know that sure Joey gave is? Abby yeah. another gift yesterday? Yeah. I was down at the All the gifts. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Like, okay. Chloe, the 12 year old, is a big sneaky snake. Okay. Okay, okay. you're like Abby. Are you, are you proud of that? No, because why are you saying that? Say that, that. You said it. I didn't say it. That's what you're saying. Here we are at the competition. Let's just think of this as the ALDC elite competition team's own audition. They should be nervous because somebody could be going home. You know, are we sure that Jill's landed? Is she no, coming? No, she hasn't texted me back. I'm like, I said, I'm freaking out right now. If the group was on first, oh, I would be yeah. livid right now. This is a commitment that was made. She doesn't have to choose between this team and her family. I'll make the choice very easy for her. But you wouldn't replace Jill or Kendall based on today, would you? Remember, Kendall can be replaced. It's as simple as that. I don't think Jill feels that Kendall's one of the ones on the chopping block. Yeah, she didn't no, seem worried. Not at she all. She didn't want to come to the want to come with us. She thought her daughter's senior night was more important. Yeah. Abby keeps threatening that. Kendall may be the one replaced because she didn't show up on time and she missed booty camp. And at the end of nationals last year, Abby said she was maybe her second in command. So would she really get rid of Kendall? I doubt it. Did you feel like it was worth the audition? Did you find your fabulous it dancer? Because I'm not hearing, like, I found this amazing person. Oh, I hope you got your eyes open. Lots of good kids. Oh, you no. finally made it. We made it. We made Hi. it. What we miss? It's nice of you to join us. I had um, Riley's event last night. And so I'm just saying it's competition day, and here we are. Late. Here we are. And the girls were starting to get a little stressed out. They rehearsed uh, on the stage all prepared. a little bit. Well, here we are, part of the team. You know, Jill's been up my ass all week. Now she's on the other side of it. Karma's a bitch, Jill. You knew I'd be here. 
No, because we didn't get a text. We were texting you and we didn't hear. Yeah, I texted Melissa and... You didn't text me. Holly. And I'm the only one that really counts, Jill. And... Jill, let me say something to you. I don't need to say don't ever do it again because there might not be an opportunity for you to even do it again. You have wacko priorities. Kendall should have been here. Open your mouth in your house and say, I made a commitment. I have to be at the competition. Because I'll tell you what, sweetheart, I saw 20 kids last night that would make mincemeat out of your kid. All right, so next time I, I let you know when we'll be late. No, there, there, don't, don't, there won't be a next time. Um, well, would you have been here if Kendall had a solo? Not doing Applause. a solo. Oh, that sounded really bratty. Yes, it did. I didn't think I was gonna be late. I am shocked at what is coming out of Abby's mouth. She's a nut. Oh, I love them. Oh, you guys look cute. They are so cute. Now 1940s, I want to go to a diner and have my chocolate Coke. Here we go. Good luck, my little pinup girl. Up next in the teen and duet trio division, this is entry number 20, Brooke, Paige, and Chloe with Hear No Evil, See No Evil, Speak No Evil. This trio requires Brooke to lip sync. She is gonna prove it to me that she has what it takes to be a pop star, not just a karaoke singer. totally different than what Brooke normally does. She usually does contemporary and contortion. This is totally different, and she went up on stage and nailed it. She looked amazing. Now for our elite teen duo trios. Starting off in third place with a score of 270 points is act number 67, It Doesn't Hurt, from Robin Dawn Academy. In second place with a score of 276.6 points, is act number 20, Hear No Evil, See No Evil, Speak No Evil from the Ivy League Dance Company. Chloe, Paige, Brooke, you were the only dance that wasn't the overall high score winner. What, what, what goes on there? The trio got second, and I think that that is a really admirable thing, but I know it doesn't matter how well they danced. All Abby cares about is second place, and isn't that the first to lose? And our kids are on the chopping block. Mackenzie is performing a routine involving lip syncing called Love Overdose. Oh my god. It is such a cute song. Or she's really um, going at it with the limp thing. I think Mackenzie is a natural born entertainer. And I have big things planned for Mackenzie. But she needs to understand just how difficult it is to go out there and sing and dance at the same time.
Abby has such a soft spot for McKenzie. It is unbelievable. Very good. It's good. OK, go grab a drink. Good job. This is a really hard solo for Mackenzie. She has to lip sync and perform at the same time. She has to prove to Abby that she can do it all. All right, up next, this is Mackenzie with the overdose. Woo! Mackenzie really entertained the audience, and I think that this proved to Abby that she is a star. Okay, starting the Elite Mini Solo Division of Competition. In third place is Ellie Ann with Act Number Three, Gravity. Your first runner up is Mackenzie with Act Number Nine, Love Overdose. Mackenzie gets second place. You know, I think it was probably a really close battle between the first and second. I'm proud of her. Mackenzie, I thought you were too far stage right. You want to keep dancing? Yes. I don't know. Maybe the homeschool thing isn't right for you. Maybe you need to go back to school if this is just a fun after school activity. Girls, this is for her mom. It has to be good. Look, Abby's here. Oh, Abby's here. shh. Lock the back of that kneecap. I hate that she walked in during this song. This song's hard. Uh huh. She's she's got, look, look yeah. at her face. Well, she See? looks like she's about to fall apart. I can't even look at Abby right now. As difficult as Abby is to work with, she hurts just like everybody else. Even though she pretends that she doesn't, she is a real person. Okay, girls, I. I just want to tell you that we don't know what's going to happen in the next week. Okie doke. My life will change significantly. You never know how long you have on this earth. It, you have no idea, okay? So make the most of every moment. Don't waste a second. Oh, look at her. She's crying. I feel really bad for Mrs. Miller and Miss Abby. I don't want Miss Abby to be sad about Mrs. Miller. So I want to do really well for her this week. My mom has defied all the medical textbooks. And she is still hanging on. I'm not going to be attending the competition. I'm going to be here in Pittsburgh, where I belong. Do we know who's here? Larkin's here for sure? Well, we know Larkin's here. Studio Larkin 
is a very good studio. We've come across them before, we've lost to them before. Abby knows some of the students. That's a tough act to follow. We have to beat the group dance because of next week. You know what I mean? Going into Pyramid with that other, I agree. This is our week for Mrs. Miller, not them. All right, do you guys want to go run your dances and try to do the tricks we pull out in the hallway? Yeah. OK, come on. Abby's going to have such a big day on Tuesday. I just can't believe that she's going to take on a new team and then Time's lousy. Why, why? Why is she taking on a new team when she has a team who's totally 150% dedicated and wins? Has won 13 times in a well, row. That's not true, oh. though. This isn't the team that won 13 times because the original team is Brooke and Paige. I miss Brooke and Paige because at least when they were here, it wasn't so much like Maddie and Kalani or everything else, and everybody else falls in line begging for their approval. Kalani and Maddie walked in my room last night. Chloe said something about doing the duet, and Maddie looked at her and said, mm, You're not very good. Maddie yes, said that? Yes, Maddie said that. I don't need your daughter to be friends with my daughter out of pity. I just would appreciate if she didn't say rude things to my well, kids. Well, I would too, and like, I'm you're gonna not speak very to her. good. I don't Wrong. think our kids are mean little girls. Well, they are if they're making no, Chloe feel that not. way. Kendall adores Chloe and looks up to her, so I don't think for a minute she thinks that she's bullying Chloe. I think this is not the time for Christy to be worried about the kids excluding Chloe or Chloe's feelings being hurt. It's a part of life, it's a part of growing up. Lonnie loves Chloe though. Like, no, Kalani is Maddie's best friend. It was no, set from not. the get-go. When you guys walked in and did the super secret duet, it was set. It's Maddie and Kalani. And everybody else got pushed to the back. And unfortunately, it's not just for dance. It's the friendship now. And you know what? What the f am I doing here if my kid's going to be treated like And I think the only one who can understand how I feel is you. I do, because I've told you, like, there are times, Mia, she feels like she's like the fifth wheel. She was like the Jackson you know, 5 and like, where is Tito? Where is she? I am tired of seeing Chloe's feelings get hurt and there's a new team coming next week. So who knows what the future looks like for us at this point. I think I want to call Abby. Hi. Hi, Ab. Hi, They're good. You would have been so proud. Girls, you want to say hi to Miss Abby? Hi, Miss Abby. We're all wearing angels for Mrs. Miller today. Oh, thank you. Thank you, girl. You know what? Just come out there and post the love. Don't worry about the jacket. Entertain the audience and make everybody love you. All right. Say bye to Miss Abby. Bye, Miss Abby. Bye, girls. Bye. The new team is coming. And you guys need to win today to show her that you guys are her dream team. Abby took a little bit of pressure off, but I'm putting a little bit back on, because this is a winning routine, and we want nothing less than a winning routine, right? Come on, let's go. Next in the junior small group division, we have entry number 57. This is entitled Tears of an Angel. Yeah! All right, girls!
Larkin girls danced beautifully. We need the win because the new team is coming on, but this is really for Mrs. Miller. Studio Larkin, their number was amazing. Now the girls need to get ready to compete. We could still possibly win. beautiful and everyone was on. Not one person made a mistake in my, in my eyes. In second place, the score of 284.7, Amazing Grace. It's unfortunate that our winning streak has come to an end. And I sure hope Nia is not going to be the blame for not winning the 14th win. These girls could not have done any better. They were beautiful on stage. It just wasn't enough. But the timing couldn't be worse. So we wanted this win for Mrs. Miller. It's OK, guys. What are those friends for? You could hear a pin drop when you guys were dancing. And guess who would have been so proud of you? Mrs. Miller. What was that dance about? It was a tribute to Mrs. Miller. And you did that. She would be yep. so proud of you guys. You guys were gorgeous. Overall, I think we did the best we could do. Girls, I'm going to call Abby, OK? Do you want to come around and talk to her? All right, let's just get this over with. That's exactly right. Hi, Abby, it's, it's us. I just wanted to say that Maddie's solo did get first. Hi. Chloe was fifth, and the group was second. Girls. It wasn't about the competition this time. I am not disappointed in you. I am so proud of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. OK, no, we, love we you will. Love you. Love Bye. You. Well, it's obvious that Abby has more things on her mind than a group dance. But next week is a different story. She's going to be mad at the girls, and she's going to have this amazing new team of dancers ready to take our kids' place. We're definitely going to feel this loss next week. <laughs>